By way of very broad summary, this defendant made serious allegations of a sexual nature against a large number of men between the October of 2017 and March 2020. Of course I've considered whether the aberrant nature of these offences means that I should assume that the defendant is suffering from some mental impairment. There is no explanation for why the defendant would commit these offences. She has gone to extraordinary lengths to create false accusations, including causing herself significant injury. No explanation for this behaviour is apparent. However, that does not mean that I should speculate. Unless and until the defendant chooses to say why she has told these lies, we will not know. This offence is fact-specific. Previous cases are of little assistance. When considering culpability, I must take account of the seriousness of the underlying offence. I bear in mind the nature of the deceptive conduct and the time over which it continued. I consider whether the offence casts suspicion on others, whether others were arrested. In this case, I'm asked to consider community impact. I'll set out in detail my approach in this regard. In relation to all counts, I bear in mind that these were allegations of sexual offences. These carry not only the risk of prosecution, but also a potentially indelible stain on the character and reputation of everyone in accused. Sexual allegations, even where disproved, often leave the falsely accused person living under a general and misplaced suspicion.